And one of the reasons why I took the job that I have is to travel. I love it. Guess where I am? I'm in Milan. Yeah. So I'm here for work. Not that exciting, but I have Friday night all to myself. And I'm going to give you a tour with, to a cathedral that's here. There's a fortress and an opera house. I can't recall the exact names of the place. I've got some notes that I'm going to share with you. And as I do this tour, I'm going to walk. It is like crazy busy right here. So hopefully I'm getting this shot in the background. Um, I'll pan around and show you, but this is the Gucci Terrace restaurant behind me. And what I'm going to do is do some walking and talking. And I hope you love this tour, man, because in a few days, I'm going to also be in Venice, which I'll post a video about that. And if you guys love these walking tours, please subscribe. And let me know you subscribe so I can enter into, into a contest or something. Anyways, let's get this tour on the road. Here we are. Gucci Terrace. So down these streets, this is my first time in Milan, guys, so you're gonna be experiencing what I'm experiencing. There's all kinds of fashion shops down here, no surprise. Um, where I don't know is where like Gucci, Armani, and all these other uh, shops are, but maybe I'll, if I have some time, I'll take you guys down there. So I'm just gonna pan over here because the big, big feature is boom. So this is called the Duomo di Milano. This is the, basically in short, the Milan Cathedral. And this is actually named after Azon Viscotti, and I apologize in advance to the Italians for me completely kiboshing the, the pronunciation. But basically, this guy went by the Lord of Milan and built this cathedral between 1329 and 1339 as you can see it's got a very gothic um, architecture so what a lot of people don't realize is this whole area here used to have two churches before the cathedral and around the churches had taverns and that just pissed off a lot of people well you know the clergy of course and so they demolished all the taverns they demolished the two churches and they built this cathedral in its place and then they started de developing all these other um, monuments around it and, and this area is called Plaza del Duomo so if you're traveling to Milan and you want to come to this place just say hey I need to go to Plaza del duomo so i mean it is busy here and this is awesome so there's a uh a terrace on the top i have no idea how to get up there there's also a monument to king victor emmanuel ii inside and i don't even know if i can get inside probably not um i have been to rome before St. Peter's Square and I just couldn't get inside. So this uh, monument to King Victor Emmanuel II, um, <laughs> kind of interesting, interesting factoid. I went to Wikipedia. I know Wikipedia is not like the true source of history, but it's pretty good. So, uh, so this King Victor, uh, he assumed himself in 1861 as King of Italy, which was just accepted. And he, uh, he was king until 1878. He had eight children. And his wife was Adelaide of Austria, just for those that might be interested in that. All right. So what I'm gonna do is post up uh, the names of these places as I walk by, because I'm totally freestyling right now. I know where I do want to go, but everything else is just, just freestyle. Man, don't you love this gothic architecture? 
so I have no idea what this is all about. And I believe this is just a plaza up ahead with some shops, some restaurants. But what we're going to do is we're going to walk to the opera house and then this fortress. I wish you guys could experience this. Man, the weather is absolutely perfect. You guys are experiencing this for the first time, just like myself. Okay, I'm going to show you guys down here. Yeah, that's obviously a subway. restaurants down there. Okay, let's go find this opera house. Ooh, humidification system. That's why I'm here, guys. I'm here for work. All my colleagues bounced on me tonight. So I was at this trade show in Milan called MCE. It's an Italian name, it's an abbreviation for the full name. Can't recall the exact name, but anyways, MCE. And it's really for HVAC, refrigeration and humidification. Italian women here. Just saying. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this. So there is one thing I'm disappointed about in Italy. Marijuana is not legalized. Ah, <laughs> I can't have my gummies. I can't have my vape. Ah, oh, there's much to love here. What is interesting is I, as I mentioned earlier, or did I mention? Can't remember. I've been to Rome. That's in the south, and Milan's in the north, and it is a very different culture up in the north versus the south. Like they eat later in the south. Like no one's going out for dinner until 9.30 typically in Rome. Like last night I had dinner with my colleagues at, it was 8.30. It's like, what? I get hungry at like 5.06. See what I mean, guys? Yeesh. Classy, attractive. Okay. 
All right, I had this like long list of places that I thought I could show you guys in this video. And unbeknownst to me, I had no idea the distance between all these places. And so the concierge at the hotel, he's like, hey, look, you're gonna do a 30 minute video, hour video, whatever. You gotta hit up you know, these main places. So the cathedral, number one, the opera house and the fortress. Um, everywhere else is just really too far. reminds me a little bit of Vienna if you guys have ever been to Vienna Austria okay. so the concierge told me that the opera house is to the left of the cathedral and then I just keep walking and then I would come to the fortress so we'll see how that goes so that looks like the fortress down there all right I wish I knew what street this was, but I do not. I basically just go left of the cathedral. <laughs> this is pretty easy. along here like riding them like a boss gotta get out of the way so tomorrow I go to Venice I'll be there for the weekend and then Monday I leave Venice to go to my work which is like an hour away from Venice and there's like nothing there so at least I get some glory for few nights and I'll post up a video of Venice when I'm there. I'm actually gonna have a tour guide with me because there's so many places to see in Venice and I want to maximize my time you know. what the locals tell me about Venice which I'll talk about in my video when I do the Venice tour um, basically the local said things are very slow in Venice <laughs> guys looking for this opera house
And I think the Opera House is... No? Okay, okay, all right, no worries. Okay, thanks. Make that girl all nervous. Man, she was cute. Fortress, I know, is over here, right? Yeah. It's down here? Yeah. Okay. Straight, Straight here? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, apparently there's an opera house around here. Uh, but we're not can't, can't. Uh, this Yeah, me either. It's my uh, first time. <laughs> All right, thanks. Sure. All right, guys, so I don't think I'm going to find this opera house. So, all right, let's just keep doing this. Awesome thing about these video tours. You don't really know where you're going, kinda kinda know where you're going, but just shit happens, you know? Damn it, I was hoping to find that opera house. Maybe they tore it down. Fortress <laughs> would be cool. Just up ahead. I wish I could find some like reggaeton wrappers or something. busy down here. What I'll do is I'll slice in a little bit more footage near the cathedral. A lot more to see there. One of the reasons why I took the job that I have is to travel and I don't have to travel that often like maybe a week each month or something like that and it just it's great because I can share my experiences with you guys
So if you like these walking tours, please subscribe. Click the notification button because then that way you're gonna know when I post new videos. And let me know in the comments if you've subscribed so I can run a contest or something. I feel like it's gonna be this big grand reveal. At least it better be. <laughs> In case you're wondering what time of year this is, it is July 1st today, Canada Day. So I'm from Can Canada. Eh? <laughs> so it's July 1st and it is about 30 degrees right now, Celsius. Not sure what that is in Fahrenheit exactly. But we'll just do Celsius. That's what Europe goes by. Canada goes by that. I think it's in the 90s. I really don't know much at this point about the fortress because this was brought to my attention just as I was leaving the hotel and the concierge said you have to go see this fortress so I have not had a chance to research it but hey it's only a search term away and you can learn all about it right What they were fortifying against, I, again, I don't know. Oh, this is cool. Not cool, but a little creepy. Okay, here we go. I think this is the fortress. Maybe. Architecture is fantastic here. But I am a little biased from my trip in Vienna. Man, the architecture is just spectacular there. turn down the street because uh, had some nice scenery earlier. Okay. So guys, I'm going to walk down this area, see what this is about. And then I'm going to head back to the Cathedral Square. Man, these cars are coming. People are going to get mad at me. Whoa. Okay.
guys some bonus minutes. Ooh, thirsty. I don't know if I can drink that water or not. Let's give it a go. Ooh, it's drinkable water. Cathedral Square is. Ah, oh, shit. Walked all the way around. Oh, not shit. You guys got a great tour of everything. This is. Okay. This reminds me a little of Old Vegas on Fremont. If you haven't seen my video of Old Vegas Fremont Street, you have to check it out. This is very much like Fremont. Except imagine El Las Vegas style with like LED lights on the roof. <laughs> so this is way more, hmm, how do I say, uh, way more uh, historic, traditional, conservative. Italian. Okay. Oh man, seeing all these people sitting down to eat and drink is getting me hungry. Thirsty. shopping mall at Caesars Palace. Enjoying this video. This is awesome. I'm loving this. Just wish all of you were here. Like I said earlier, if you guys like this, please subscribe. Hit that notification button. You'll know when I release a new video. Uh, definitely check out my Venice video. Those girls are bombs or something. Yeah. Buskers. Like, if you guys haven't seen my Cartagena raw streets, but the night one, there's like a central square near the clock tower that is absolutely crazy at night. Now it's getting close to Christmas, so 
so. Alright guys, man, I hope you loved that tour as much as I did. And please check out my next video in Venice that I'm going to be there in a couple days and I'll post that video shortly after this one. So thanks again for watching. Until next time. Thanks guys.